The data mining community in Apex Legends definitely keeps Respawn on their toes, making them shell out new ideas to fake us, such as Forge, who had a whole bunch of interesting story plot development happening. And then we had even leaked game files that seemingly told us about his ability set. And then we all know what actually happened there. The character was quite quickly eliminated from the ranks of Apex Legends. However, if you enjoy the channel and all the content that I put out, how about taking the time right now to like this video? And then if you're new, smash down that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. And guys, the big time giveaway for 11,500 Apex coins has ended and Victor Cruz has walked away with a thousand Apex co or well, 11,500 Apex coins. And I did actually contact two more people to give a thousand apex coins too so hopefully you guys are checking your emails and uh you know you'll get hooked up with a thousand apex coins for coming in second place and third place and if you want to get in on any of the giveaways and stay in touch make sure to head on over to pwnhub.live where you'll see all the crazy nonsense that i'm up to and uh you know be able to stay in touch and you know all that type of thing but today I wanted to discuss the Velk and Nova situation that we currently have because we have a bunch of stuff that seemingly says Nova will be most likely our next legend just simply because the amount of files that are filling in. And then, of course, we have this that shows the same kind of detail filling in for Velk. And there is some argument to be made that maybe Velk and Nova are in fact the same character. And I could see that happening because it would be very easy to develop half the characters, uh, you know, items and assets as Velk and the other half as Nova. And then you throw them together at the end and you get the character that we'd expect. However, there has also been some interesting information that we've seen in terms of animations already and this means the characters are coming along quite quickly and that they're actually being developed to a near completion point however my one doubt about the velk and nova situation comes in with the character downfall which was a fire-based character and i just feel like potentially nova would be a fire based character however like i said we did get some animation file leaks that have been rendered out for victims uh, animations in particular and we actually get an idea of what we could expect from some of the black hole finishers and other themed items to the character of nova now obviously in the thumbnail i used what i believe is most likely going to be one of the next legends as we've been seeing some form of teaser almost every single season prior to you know what we actually get so we saw loba at the end of the revenant launch trailer and then we actually saw something here at the end of the loba trailer that really clued us in about rampart you know like we've got a lot of details throughout the seasons with the r and I think there's something to be said about this, you know, specific character that didn't really do anything in particular in the trailer except stand there for a moment and then call in a specter. So I do think that character is being put into the story in some way to make us really start thinking about what is going on in the game in its current form and <clears throat> it could be a fake out just like forge as we you know mentioned earlier but the question remains is it nova or is it velk that we will see next season as we can harp on it over and over again but we do have some serious evidence that the character dev sheet is quite accurate and has been accurate up to date so when will it lose its accuracy is a serious question to be asked and i think 
the answer is actually right there in our face and we just don't want to really admit it but it kind of seems like we will have to see some of these characters getting like out of order coming up as we speak because we do also see Blisk as one of the potential next characters for the next two seasons. Now, what I think is Blisk is already coming. We know this. He's going to be coming in. But I think every character after Blisk could be reordered, dropped, changed. And we do know that some of them have actually disappeared from the game files. So I do not think in particular that this dev sheet will be very accurate anymore after because it's just been so long that characters have actually disappeared from the game files completely and that usually means that they've been cut and then in some cases like the character just is put in the offline like the dummy um big day character models so it, there is evidence that some have been removed and or development stopped but guys if you want to stay in touch choose one of the three social media links to check out and uh Shoot a follow on them so you can see what we're up to and what we're doing social media wise. You never know what kind of giveaways you're missing because we have actually done a few Twitter giveaways over the past few weeks. And, uh, you know, you might have lost a chance to get yourself an heirloom or the battle pass. It really depends on your situation. But, uh, yeah, have you guys been hanging out live over on Twitch during September? We've only done about one or two streams total, but uh, it has been fun. And I should be on tomorrow hanging out live after I work on some uh, videos. And, uh, you know, the population of the actual community starts to log in because I'll tell you what, at certain playtimes, there is almost nobody online at all on any platform and that's just scary i mean obviously i could probably try and play on euro servers but that would not be too fun for me in particular and uh you know i'm sh not to say that you know the servers aren't a great with a bunch of great players or anything like that but uh that would be a horrible ping for me to play and uh, i'm not willing to put myself through that so hopefully there will be some people to grind with tomorrow and have a good time but check us out on twitch if you haven't already and I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of this game as, uh, you know, I was running around with the gold devotion, which is pretty easy to grab off of the King's Canyon map and is kind of ridiculous to have. But drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this entire Nova situation. Is it Velk? Is it Nova? Are they the same exact character? What is going on? Are we being bamboozled by respawn? Drop a comment in the comment section down below and let me know what your opinion is with the Nova and Velk conspiracy. But guys, enjoy the rest of the gameplay and remember to stay safe, stay healthy. Enjoy your remainder of summer for some of you and, you know, going back to school for others. And really, thank you for subscribing, liking, and basically just watching the videos that I put out. It means a great deal. You guys are absolute legends. And as always, have a good one. One minute rings not far. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. Less than one. Follow the tunnel.
one. Nice work. Taking a moment to recharge my shields. The ring is closed. Time graves with us. Less than one minute. Maybe something good this way. Two enemy squads live. Vitaka Vitri at Slotra. <laughs> 